Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a masthead using Photopea and um, I'm going to show you a particular technique with the masthead where you can have the masthead behind the main um, image but um, in front of the background of the image. So to do that we go to file new and you choose print and choose A4 because we're going to be making a magazine front cover and click on create. Then I'm going to go to file, open and place, not file, open, open and place to find the main image for my magazine front cover. And I'm going to use this image here of the dog. I've chosen this image of the dog because it's got a very clear difference between the foreground and the background and that will make it super easy for me to do this technique with the masthead. I'm going to click on shift and drag on that corner there to retain the proportions of that image. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go to layer, duplicate layer. Duplicating the layer means that I can now delete the background off one of them and my text can fit snugly like a sandwich in between the two pictures. So I'm just going to type on my text. So I've dragged on a text tool, text tool down there, and I'm going to make the text quite big because I'm, I'm using a, an A4 sort of canvas here. The text needs to be quite big. So I'm going to press enter. I've typed in 900. I'm going to press enter. And in here, I'm going to choose um, quite a chunky font from the font list because it's quite chunky as uh, our mastheads so I'm just choosing that one there but you make you make sure that you choose one that looks really good and fits in with the theme and for this one I'm going to put dog life oh that's far too big so I'm just going to highlight that make that maybe 600 press enter I'm going to drag that corner of the text tool across you can see that, that it's still hanging off the edge so I'm just going to make that maybe 550 until I get a pretty good idea that it's going to fit on so that's uh, that's all right I could tinker with it a bit more and get it a little bit a little bit away from those edges in fact I would recommend that you do that but as you can see there I have positioned it over the dog's head okay now a masthead really is usually at the top so this is something that you need to think about with your image you may want to crop your image down first before you open and place it onto here so that it's it's nearer the edge we haven't got this so much space at the top but just for this um, demo I'm then going to go over to my layers panel over here I'm going to drag the text layer in between the two pictures so remember I had duplicated that layer with the dog and in this top layer of the dog I'm going to remove the background there are lots of ways you can do this but on this particular image the background and the foreground are very distinct from each other and I think going to select magic cut will be enough to do this job. It can take a few minutes from Photopea to figure out which is the foreground and the background but you can see it's done a pretty good job here. It paints using the green foreground painter where it thinks the foreground is and it paints with the red background painter where it thinks the background is and if you end up with little straggly bits where maybe there's a bit of the background still present you can always paint over it with a, a, the red background painter and photo people remove it make sure that you've got the transparent option not the black or the white option selected click OK and you can see there it's done a pretty good job right I'm going to do this again but this time I'm going to do it with a more complicated image and I'm going to hope that it works so I'm going to go to file new make sure it's print a4 create file open and place not file open open and place to find your picture I've got this picture of a small boy shift drag on the corners to make it bigger so that it retains the, the shape of that image it doesn't distort it in any way I'm going to move it over and position the boy a little bit more centrally then remember what we have to do we have to go to layer duplicate layer because we're going to sandwich our text in between the two image layers oh on the wrong thing there there we go so on my layers panel I have two images now one both been duplicated and then I'm going to type my text and in this one I'm going to type kids life I'm going to make it a little bit wider this text layer and I'm going to highlight kids life because it's too big it's still too big maybe make it 500 press enter that's all, that's not too bad just position it I'm going to position it just over the kid's head there, that little boy's head, and then I'm going to move it in my layers panel so it is sandwiched between my two images. Click on the top image, go to select magic cut. Okay, it can take photo pee 
a huge amount of time to do this, like up to like a minute, two minutes to do this. Okay, so please be patient. Right, at this point you can see that it has kept some parts of the grass there. Um, now, if we were doing this to get just keep the boy and nothing else, then we would play around with using these green options and these, these red options, the foreground and the background options a little bit more. But it's done enough of a good job on the portion of the picture that we need it to do it on, which is this top bit, which is where the text is going to go. Okay, so I am actually happy with the way Photopea has done that. And I'm going to press OK because you can see there that it's done a good job on this part, which is all we needed it to do. And we've now got the background picture showing through on all the other bits. And that's basically it. Looks pretty good that. Remember to save it, export it as a JPEG if it's finished, or you're going to export it as a PSD if you want to work on it. Well, not export it, PSD, save it as a PSD if you want to work on this project further another time. But that's it. How to create a cool masthead using Photopea. Have fun!